So I always start off with the melody. So it's an addictive keys melody. It's basic piano. And then this is what the melody sounds like. So literally just a simple piano, basic go-to for any beat really. And then this, the counter melody, it's just layered on top. Sounds like this, with the main melody. And then, usually, I always start with the hi-hats. So this is the uh, hi-hat poem. That's not a hi-hat poem. Quite simple really, nothing too special, just a couple notes up and down, that's literally it. Uh, then moved on to the uh, snare, so this is just a snare pattern. Again, basic, nothing special. So yeah, nothing too fancy really. It's literally a very simple beat. Wouldn't have took me that long to make. Uh, this is the 808 pattern. Probably the most complex part of the beat, I'd say, but still nothing special again, simple, just the key. Because rappers, they don't like beats that are like too much going on, all hi-hats, snares, perks, all of, they just want to have a nice flow. The basic drums, so like this here, 808 kick, snare, uh, that's pretty much it, to be fair. This is the kick pattern that goes with on top of the 808. Simple, it's a bit, it sounds a bit off time if you're listening to it about the rest of the beat, but it'll make sense when you hear the whole beat. So yeah, that's pretty much it to be fair. So 808, hi-hat, snare, kick, two melody, that's six sounds in the beat, plus some effects and stuff here, but yeah, you don't ever really need to overdo it, I'd say, just keep it simple, just as long as the vibe, on artists more, they're looking to feel a vibe and just get a little bounce. As soon as they feel that, they'll be like, yeah, I want to use it. So with this beat, it's such an old beat, I wouldn't have, it was just like, I completely forgot about it, to be honest. And then Desi uh, messaged me on DM saying, oh, can you send me the stems for this beat? I'm going to use it. I didn't know what he was going to use it for. And then eventually his manager got into contact, said he's going to use it for the intro on his tape. So I was like, oh, wow, that's mad. Like, Desi was my first placement, so... To be on his debut tape as well on the intro is quite, it's quite cool to be fair. I feel privileged to be a part of the project. And to see my name on the list of all other producers that I've looked up to during my sort of progress in developing my sound. Like M1 on the beat mainly, his tutorial. One of the videos that got me 
started on making beats, like drill beats that is. So yeah, it feels good. You know, I've got, got to be thankful for where I am. But yeah, this is uh, what the whole beat sounds like all together. <laughs> 